for that. This is Felix. I thank you again today for um, making time with me. I really thank you for your support. All this while, the journey has really been good. And uh, I personally feel so much happy because I know the contents I share, that especially those who click on the thumbnail and watch, that I really benefit for good. Yeah, so I thank you. I thank you so much. Now, um, as you're watching me, if um, you have not subscribed yet, perhaps you are a new person watching my um, content or you are a regular viewer, but then have not, um, you know, um, subscribed yet, I humbly encourage you. Please support the channel. Um, subscribe to it. And then send that notification button on. So anytime I make an upload uh, quickly, you'll be informed uh, for you to gain access to the content. Right, so um, I want us to actually share a few things together um, to do with our children, um, how to handle hyperactive kids. When we say a child is hyperactive, um, what do we mean by that? So a hyperactive child is one who um, finds it very much hard, um, paying attention to one particular thing at a particular time, one who has so much activity, them oriented, one who is so active and finds taking instructions very, very difficult, you know, to, to, to cope with, right? So when you have a child like that, uh, you see that child as a burden on you or um, it becomes an opportunity for you to um, seek help or do what is likely to be profitable for the child as far as uh, his or her development um, are concerned. So here I have six um, ideas to share with you uh, which can help you handle um, a child of yours who may be hyperactive. If you don't have a child like that and you know somebody who has a child who is hyperactive, uh, then my um, advice would be you share this video with that person so that he or she will gain um, from the content there. Now the first thing uh, you should take note of is all you should apply is establish and maintain order at home. Establishing and maintaining order at home, what exactly has it to do with? You know, kids of this nature um, are very difficult to handle um, by just giving me instructions. You know, so when you tell them to sit down, they find it difficult to do. When you allow them to do things on their own, they, they are not able to focus on one particular thing, um, you, know, you know, to the other. So ideally, the appropriate thing you can do is just set rules and regulations. You set rules and regulations, you set um, time for sleeping, you um, let the child be aware of time for waking up, you let the child be aware of certain times when certain things are done or are supposed to be done in the house. So he or she knows that once I'm done with this, the next activity is to do this, the next activity is to do that. Apart from that, when there are any particular things that child will have to do, you arrange them in such a way that the child knows when I am done with this, the next thing to be done by me is that. So they tend to be orderliness as far as um, regulation of the child's behavior at home. That is concerned. So you establish and maintain order um, at home. Now the second tip is you break down complex instructions to simpler, some simpler forms. Um, hyperactive kids find straightforward instructions giving them very, very challenging to handle. You know, so when you, you tell a child um, who is hyperactive to uh, engage in a particular activity without taking your time to explain what the um, requirements really are he or she will not be able to complete that particular task. You know, so you get a child to look straight into your face, straight into your eyes, and then tell the child, you know something, I want you to do this. Now, this is how you're supposed to go about it. Take this, put it here, do it this way, get it done this way, don't go this, this way, move in this direction, you know. So you let the child understand what really the activity he or she is about to engage in is all about. That way, you will succeed in getting the hyperactive child to cooperate with you. So always ensure that whatever form of activity you want him or her um, to be involved in, that is simplified so much so that he or she will have his attention focused on it fully um, for the right achievement to uh, be reached. Now, the third um, idea is make use of positive reinforcement. Always reward every good behavior, every good behavior put up by your hyperactive child. You know, reinforce that. So you find your hyperactive child sitting so quietly, somebody you expect to be roaming every corner of the room, throwing things around, um, not being able to concentrate on a particular thing at a time. You find him or her seated quietly, perhaps reading a book. <laughs> you know, it's a moment to be celebrated. So you get closer to that child. Today, I liked what you did. It was so amazing. I didn't expect it. Okay, so I will get you this. The next time you do the same thing, I will buy this for you. Or take this. You've really been so amazing today. Keep it up. So once the child gets to know that, okay, when I do this regularly, my mother, my father will reward me. It becomes an adopted behavior. So the child will continually want to practice it for the reason of the reward he or she likely will receive from you. You know, so re and, um, reward um, or make use of positive reinforcement at all times. It will get a hyperactive child to really take shape. Now the fifth. Um, 
sorry, the fourth point is you um, accept your child's limitations and offer to help out. The hyperactive kids have lots of limitations. One major thing is they're not being able to be focused on one person, nothing at a time. Admit it. You know, admit it. Don't um, see your child as a burden. Don't see that child as a worry. Don't see that child as um, an issue. Rather, see the child from a very good angle or a very good perspective. Accept that state of being of the child. And then do everything in your power, everything in your capacity to ensure that he or she is made to have the best of life possible. You know, always treat that child with love. Give him or her the help you know, she needs. And that child will be forever grateful to you growing up, um, reflecting on how you had handled um, him or her during those moments when uh, he or she needed that help most. So don't see your child as a burden. Accept the state of that child and be willing to offer the help you actually need. Now, the fifth idea I want to share with you, once you have your mind focused on this, don't compare your child to other kids. It's not healthy to do that. You know, you see, see, see how you are. You always give me burdens. You always, you always all over the police. Look at your, your, your other siblings. Look at your other friends. You're not like that. Don't do any of that because the major side effects or the major consequence you're likely to have your child experience once you begin doing something of this nature as his or her self-esteem or confidence level is likely to drop. That child will find it very difficult even taking instructions from you. So don't compare your hyperactive child to other kids. As I said in the previous um, point, accept that child's challenge, accept it, and then help the child out. The last point, which is also equally important as the first five, is you seek help when need be. When you realize that handling your child who is hyperactive, you're finding it very difficult. Don't sit at it and make it a focal point of an issue. If you notice or when you realize that you are not able to get around it, seek help. Seek the help of a physician, seek the help of a counselor, seek the help of somebody who can who can all around help you handle that child by way of counsel, by way of um, setting guidelines to follow. And when you do that, your love for that child will skyrocket. It will be so phenomenal. You know, so um, having shared this with you. I want to believe you have, you have actually found it very, very much uh, important and beneficial. I thank you so much for watching me from the beginning to this end. God richly bless you. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. As I always say, our children are a blessing to us. Again, don't keep a negative attitude. Keep a positive attitude. For positive attitude always ensures that you are fine all around. Stay blessed. Remain focused until my next video. I wish you well.